Hi everybody, it's Gina Bell from East Coast Mummy and today I have fantastic high-end Halloween decor on a dollar store budget. You are going to love what I made today, especially this super fun cauldron that lights up. You're never going to believe how easy this one is to make. For the first project, we're going to make a wreath. I had this old grapevine wreath in my stash. I spray painted it black and then I grabbed a few of the wooden pieces from Dollarama. I bought a cat, a ghost, and a pack of the wood rounds. I painted the wood round white and the ghost white and then I painted the wooden cat with a dark gray. I also made some decals with my Cricut cutting machine. If you don't have a Cricut, you could use paint or paint markers. For the ghost, I just made three ovals using my Cricut cutting machine. I just stuck them on like stickers. I didn't even use any sort of transfer tape. And that was it for this cute little ghost. Then for the cat, I printed out a decal from Cricut Design Space. I used press and seal tape to transfer the design over because the paint was a little bit wet. If you use Cricut tape, I would make sure that you kind of put it on your pants a couple times so that it's not too sticky because you don't want to lift up the paint. And that was it for this cute kitty cat. And for the wood round, I purchased this nostalgic, old-fashioned moon face from Etsy, and I used the press and seal to transfer it over. Again, if you use Cricut transfer tape, make sure you get rid of some of the stickiness so the paint doesn't peel up. Once I had the wood rounds finished, I had to decide which one I wanted to put inside my wreath that was spray painted black. I looked at the ghost and the cat and the moon, and in the end, I decided to go with the ghost. To attach the ghost to the wreath, I tied on a piece of black and white twine, leaving the two ends hanging down in the middle, and then I positioned the ghost how I wanted it to hang. I flipped it over and I used lots of hot glue to securely attach the ghost. And that was it. Cute, right? No one would guess this only cost a couple dollars to make. And the two pieces I didn't use for my wreath look adorable sitting out on my counter. The next piece of decor is my absolute favorite. You'll need a cauldron or black bowl, some tissue paper, some curling ribbon, an LED light. I love this one from Dollarama and some skulls. This LED light is great. It has a remote so you can turn it off and on while it's inside the cauldron. And also you can change the color. This green is perfect for this project. Start by popping the light inside the cauldron or bowl. Then grab some green tissue paper and cover it up. Then you're gonna to wanna to grab your curling ribbon. I cut about 10 strips and tied them all together at one end. Then I grabbed some sharp scissors and curled each piece of ribbon individually. If you've never curled ribbon before, it's super easy. You just grab a pair of sharp scissors and carefully pull it along the length of the ribbon.
Continue this process until all strands of the ribbon are curled and then put it inside the cauldron. You're going to want to repeat this process probably five times until the cauldron is totally full of curly ribbon. You can leave the cauldron with just the ribbon or for a little extra, you can add some plastic skulls or bats, whatever you want. I absolutely love this cauldron and it was so easy to make and looks super cute with the LED light turned on. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite project from this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Really helps my channel. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified of future videos. I have lots of fun content planned for Halloween and Christmas, and I don't want you to miss it. Talk to you next time. Bye.